All right, so you've put a couple of rounds through your firearm, and now it's about time to clean it. First, as you can tell, it's not loaded. Let's go ahead and check that chamber. Point it in a safe direction. Fire that. Let's go ahead and break this down. Now, is it important to clean your gun? Absolutely. Is it important to clean it every single time you shoot it? Probably not. I mean, I'm no expert. You tell me in the comments, but that's pretty dirty. So we're gonna get that cleaned up. All right, so now that we've taken everything apart, <clears throat> Before I spray anything on, before I do anything, I just like to give it a good little wipe down. All right, nothing crazy, not going too hard. Just give it a clean wipe down. Get off anything. See all that little buildup? I don't know if you can see that, but I try to get all that off as much as I can before I spray my cleaner, just because I don't want it to get all clumpy and just kind of make a mess at the end of the day. I don't want to have everything everywhere. So if I can clean up a little bit of that bulkiness before I do the cleaner, I mean, in my, in my, my mind, it, it helps, okay? It helps, leave me alone. That's, how, that's what I like to do, right? This isn't telling you the exact way to clean your gun. This is just how I like to clean my gun, all right? I'll show you with a Q-tip before I do anything. I mean, This is one swipe. So that's why I like to go in there and give it a little cleaning before I do the actual cleaning. With cleaning your gun, I just find that like shooting, you gotta take your time. With this whole, everything that comes with this, if you take your time, I promise you, you'll be a little better off. Don't try to be John Wick, because we ain't John Wick. John Wick is John Wick. Unless your name is Juan Wick. Shout out to the boys over there at the gun store. Get it all, man. Get it all. Get in there. Take your time. Pay attention to what you're doing. Me, personally, I don't field strip the entire gun. Like I don't break every single thing down. I just do like a basic field strip. And um, clean, what, clean what I can, man. Eventually, I'll get into that, like <clears throat> breaking the entire gun down all the way down to the pins and Everything else, I'm pretty sure there's not much to the Smith & Wesson, not much to all of them, really, but I just never took the time to learn that. I mean, I will. Eventually, I'll get there. But right now, I just I like to shoot. Just kidding. Um, no, I will. I will. I'll, I'll learn all that. And you guys are going to be there with me while I learn it. We're going to learn We're going to learn together, dog. We're going to learn that together, dog. But back to what we were doing. Okay, so I'm here, right? Here. Boom, bada, boom. Boom, bada, bang. Okay. What I do next before I spray the cleaner, I take an old toothbrush that I've been using for cleaning. This is about two years, whatever. And I just with a good little scrubby scrub. That's it, dog. All right, like I said, no rush. We sat down and took the time to clean our gun because we got time. Ain't nobody rushing us. I'll break up whatever else you didn't get with those Q-tips, okay?
So that's good enough for me. Um, I'm not necessarily going to scrape that down as much because I'm going to let the brush do its job inside the barrel itself. Um, anyway, now, now, I'll drop some cleaner in there. And what I like to use, I'm not getting paid for this. This isn't a paid endorsement. This isn't, this is just me showing you guys what I like to use. And that's shooter loop. Okay. I got it when it was on sale on Instagram or something. It popped up. I, I watched a bunch of videos, read a bunch of reviews. I got it. And I, I've so far, I think I got it like two years now, maybe. But I, I like it. It works. It works. Um, and again, like everything else, you don't need a whole lot, right? So. That's it for me, okay? I don't want to let that sit for very long because I don't want it to really eat up anything. So I'm going to get that wiped down. What I like to use, I have these little cotton pads. Um, they're cool. Don't get me wrong. I like those a lot. But I, I normally I'll just cut up an old white t-shirt in little pieces. And that tends to work really good. If I need to get it in there where somewhere my finger can't get to, I just grab a Q-tip. Boom. Simple, dude. Okay. Simple. Right. Again, try to get as literally as much as you possibly can. Every little crack. Like, get it all. Get it all. Okay. In here. Now, I could be doing this completely wrong. Like I said, I am not an expert by any means. I'm going to say that a million times. I'm just a guy who's passionate about this and I'm learning along the way with you guys. And this is how I've cleaned my gun shit forever. I mean, this is how I was taught to clean my gun. So this is how I clean it. If there's some other way that I should be doing it, let me know. I'm all ears, bro. I'll take select criticism for sure. It's only going to make me better. Even if you being a hater. Always something to be learned. Look at that. That's after I've, you know, done a couple wipe downs with this. So that's why I like to go over it first with a Q-tip or a toothbrush. I mean, you know. Something before I put the actual cleaner in it because I don't want it to get super dirty and clumpy and it just runs. At the end of the day, it's going to run places you don't want it to go. Like inside there, you see it's a little wet. I don't want that. Only thing I want in this firearm when I'm done is lube. Okay, that's it. That is it. That is it. All right. Also, while we're here in this workspace, quick tip. I do this a lot. I'll take my frame off and I'll just. So here for me with my thumb, this is a whole nother story. I know we're getting off a little topic right now, but I had a, a, an accident at work and I got some surgery. Had, you know, had to have my thumb reattached to my hand. If this, if, if this video right here gets, I don't know, a thousand likes, I'll, I'll drop a story on it how it happened and I'll show you some videos or pictures of everything that that uh, went on with my hand but anyway um, I can't really tweak my thumb forward like I used to this whole thing right here is just very straining with all the scar tissue growing inside on this hand so a lot of people ask me why do you shoot like that why do you shoot like that 
because it's comfortable. I can go here, but this after a couple of shots is just terrible. I mean, it, as far as pain goes, it, it hurts like hell. So I like to choke up on it here, obviously on that back. And then when I'm here, boom, this does not affect the slide at all. Okay, so that's to answer some questions of why I do I shoot like that. But anyway, I do this a lot. I do this a lot. I get this and I just present, present, present. So it's a cool little trick you can do at home while you're cleaning your gun, while you're just sitting there. Just figure it out, you know? Figure little things like that out. Sometimes little things like that are what help you become a better shooter, at least that I found. All right, so we're going to move on to this guy. This isn't something you want to rush through. This isn't something you want to be like, ooh, 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 all right, cool, I'm good, I'm good to go. Like, you can, don't get me wrong, you can, and uh, totally up to you, but I just, I mean, yes, these things are built to be put through some shit, but they don't have to, they don't have to. It's, it's literally there to save your life, so why would you want to put it in a condition or keep it in a condition that's not guaranteed to go bang when you want it to go bang? You feel me? Uh, now we're gonna work on the barrel okay actually let's do the spring first now the spring what I like to do is put it here and so I'm not spraying these guys I move to the side of quick basically all I did was just one two that's it I'll let it sit for a second <clears throat> do its thing and then I'll rotate it now like a little taco, like a little taco. I'm gonna clean it. Like this. No, probably excessive. Probably don't need to do this, but I do it. I do it. Okay, cool. Literally, that's it. You're probably thinking that did nothing. It probably didn't. But like I said, I like to do it. Take this bad boy, do this. Okay, boom, boom, bop. He's done. Okay. Now, the barrel. I will be upgrading this to a threaded barrel. Just got to get some money first, to be real with you. Can't afford that right now. But once I can, oh, sweet baby, it's going to look really nice. So, with this same thing, um, as far as holding it, I like to. Put it in something like this. All right, let me move these over a little bit. Boom. Give it one good spray on this side. Rotate it. One good spray on that side. Put the barrel down with the shirt at the bottom. One, two. And I just let it sit for a quick second. Now, while that's doing this thing, I'll clean this.
Now, we're going to move these guys aside. I personally don't like to send in the brush and bring it back and send it in and bring it back. I don't like to do that. Um, kind of goes back to me trying to have one consistent direction of stroke that I'm using it in. Um, like I said, it can be completely mental, but I just, for me, I don't want to do that. So I continue to do it how I do it. So again, I just send it through the barrel. You know, that takes too much time. Maybe, maybe it does. But guess what? Don't care. This little dude off. That was one pass. I normally do this three times. Okay. So the way the bullet feeds. Boom. Now, I don't always do this on the third time. It just depends for me how bad that brush looks afterwards. All right. It doesn't look super bad, but. I'm gonna try it anyway, just to be safe. Cut this real quick. What I like to do is to wrap a cotton cloth around the brush. And what that does is it gets in those little grooves. Not that it's not already, because it's doing a really good job of it, but I just like to give it that little bit of extra. It's gonna be tight, all right? <laughs> it's gonna be tight, but push through it. Okay, one last spray. Oops. So you can see after two strokes of the brush and now using that cotton swab, it's not bad, right? It's not, it's not like this, how this was coming out, right? So you're not getting this out of that, right? So we, the brush itself did a pretty good job and that's what we were looking for. That's why, you know, we buy these damn things. But for me, this is my result. Okay, my barrel's clean. Cool. That's what I look for. Take this little guy off him aside now we're gonna get to lubing it up okay get this workspace cleared up a little bit here <clears throat> again shooters lube they're not paying me for this this is just something that I actually use um, I like it I like it I like it I like it a lot okay, okay. <laughs> you chill you gotta chill all right, so again, I just like to use a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. So what I'll do for something like this is I'll drop right in the feed. Let that drop down right on top. Let that drop down. One right here, one right here. Now, rub that bad boy. Now you're probably thinking that's a lot. You said a little bit. Oh, a little bit. Watch what I'm about to do. Let me show you something real quick. Let's have a shot. Okay, cool. Boom. Now what we're gonna do is in the barrel. That was nice and buttery. See all that? Nice and buttery. Cool. But guess what else is? My fingers. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take. That same piece that I was using to clean the inside, I'm gonna I'm gonna butter my fingers with it. I mean, I'm gonna butter the, I'm gonna put the excess on top onto the thing, thing. You know what I'm trying to say. Okay, use it to wipe this. As you see, it's not pulling a lot of oil away from it. That's what we want. Now what I want to do is, again, one more time. 
gonna put that on there. Ooh, buddy. Remember that oil we put in there earlier? Nice and slow. I just spread that for you. Okay. Get rid of that guy. Get rid of that guy. Grab another cloth that's clean. Just get any of that excess off. Don't need a whole lot. A little butter goes a long way. See how it looks now? Nice. Not too buttery. See that? Cool. Same thing with this. I like to drop it on my finger here. Drop it on my finger here. And just do this. That's it. Nothing too crazy. I don't even wipe anything off on this one. I really don't. Boom. Good to go. Okay. Now, for the slide. I used to go crazy on this. All right? Not even just this. Lube in general, I used to go crazy. The more butter, the better, I thought. That's, that's not. That's not the case. Um, <clears throat> I mean, for some of you, it could be. But for me, it's not. I, I I was dropping it in. I was dropping it in here. I was putting it on the slot. I mean, wherever it was going, I could put it here. But the amount that I was putting on, it would end up flowing in here somewhere. So I'm, at the end of the day, look, a little goes a long way. So I'm going to keep saying that because it does. To me, that's good. I also like to go one right here, one. And one. Okay. Now. Spread it. Okay, look at that. Now, I'm not going to leave it like that. I'm going to take a dry tip, the other side, just give it one wipe down. Now, pistol itself. Again, metal on metal. That's all I'm really looking for. I'll do a drop here for both of them. I'd like to do a drop on this guy and on that guy. And right here by the spring. Okay. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm not taking any excess off because I feel like I didn't put a lot, and normally I don't do do or don't do so anyway. <clears throat> I leave what I did alone in this, um, just because the polymer to metal, I want that little bit of extra friction if it's there. I mean, not friction, but like butter if it's there, just to help with that. So, all we gotta do now is just put this bad boy together. Now you see, look how a little goes a long way. It's still super buttery. Okay, once I drop everything else into it and it starts working together and sliding and doing what it's got to do, that's going to spread. It's going to spread more. So we don't want to over butter 
are pistole, homie. Okay. Boom. Now look, see what I mean? It's gonna spread. See that? We want that. For me, I do this. I don't wipe it away, I use it. I use it. All right, you're probably thinking you're making your gun slippery. It's all oily now. Did I do anything to the grip? No, just to the slide. Are you manipulating the slide when you're shooting the gun? No. All you're doing is working that trigger finger and holding on to the damn thing. Ain't got nothing to do with the grip, okay? Now, last thing, I take a microfiber towel, okay? And I give it a good wipe around the polymer. Anywhere the polymer's at, I like to give it a good wipe. that micro fiber tile is going to like really get off what you don't want as far as oil goes. There it is. Nice clean gun.